No Jumper, the coolest podcast in the world, man. You already know what it is with the brick and the sharp link up, man. Yeah, you man. Did. It's brick, baby. It's the sharp one. The one and only, baby. And Winslow <laughs> Banks, man. What it do, Winslow? Where you from? No, nope. before yourself, you start. No, 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 no. 42, listen. How the f*** I'm trying to say it so that way I'll cuss, but they know yeah, it. Like, yeah, I'm not yeah, trying yeah. to switch it up. Yeah. We got you sitting on the host side today, man. And all, it's not because you're a host. So let's just get that straight right okay. now, Church, okay? Gotcha. It's because we want everybody to see that new piece that you got on the cranium, man. You know what I'm saying? So we got you sitting on this side today. You know what I'm saying? So we can... Uh, Adam 69. Adam 68. <laughs> 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 Winslow. All right. How you doing, brother? Is that your real name, Winslow? Did you, like, incorporate that into your... Well, my last name is Winslow. Your last name is Winslow? Yeah, my last name is Winslow. And, Who was uh, the Winslows? There's a lot of Winslows. So that, that matters. The actual, the actual, like, the Winslow name comes from the Mayflower. My family came over on a boat, and they took over the entire boat, and they made it to the States. Okay, we're not going to start there in your interview. <laughs> we not, we're not... <laughs> what the f***? Did you just listen? Cause we go go somewhere else. You want to take a walk? Yeah. I was gonna take a walk. Take a deep breath. Take a deep breath. I came from what? No, I'm just saying that was on the Mayflower. That was something like Columbus and them, right? No, that's something that you can look up on Google. It's actual facts, but I know that. I'm saying with Columbus and them, right? Yeah. Yeah. So there's a I mean, I don't know like what what it all means. This is what my family told me. So there's a possibility that maybe like grandfather 10 12 grandfathers down was possibly on a boat with Christopher Columbus <laughs> no it's it's a fact he was on the Mayflower no, it's not sure. a, it, it was the Mayflower what was the other boat uh, I have no idea bro it's nothing to be ashamed of you can't control where the f your heritage come from I just was like whoa you started there in Black History Month? That was pretty Is deep. that where you wanted to start in Black History Month? That was pretty month? deep. I ain't gonna lie. Pause. What? <laughs> <laughs> he don't even know what's going on. I mean... <laughs> Winslow, welcome. We're happy to have you here on the platform today. Thank you. Talk to us, man. Where are you from? I'm from Houston, Texas, man. Okay. H-Town. Yes, sir. Yeah, man. I'll, uh, how was it growing up out there? You grew up out there? Uh, you obviously didn't come off the Mayflower. <laughs> I mean, you started that's a gift, right? You started that. <laughs> you started like, I was just trying to say something cool. I didn't know where it was yeah, going. Yeah, I, yeah, that's, I that's, thought that's it was cool. That's it might not cool. have been, but I, it was nothing like. Yeah, I was, that was only cool. I was just being me. It's just cool. I feel it. Maybe not this month. We'll try that. Yeah, yeah. Maybe not this month. I don't even know. I don't even know where that. Again to be month. honest, I really don't even know it's where okay. that went. I was so confused. We're going to introduce you to the world. And then we're going to double back on you and give you some heritage on top of your heritage. Hell yeah, I'm done with that. Let's All do right. it. All right, cool. <laughs> so you're from H-Town? Yes, sir. Born and raised? Yeah. Well, I lived in Houston for until I was about maybe 22. I moved to East Texas, started a couple moving companies, and then ended up moving to Dallas. So... So now you do the D-Town Now I'm back boogie. in Houston again. Hey, hey. The D-Town Boogie? Yeah. To be honest with you, I really, like, Houston music is dope, but... There's so much music out in the world that to me is more like marketable and more mainstream. So I like uh, ATL. I think Colorado's really sleeped on as far as the music scene goes. And uh, of course, right here where we're at right now, there's so much talent out there. If they just had the right people behind them, they could blow up. They bec literally become like fucking superstars. But they just don't got the right people supporting them. They don't got the right people behind them. You see, somebody believes in West Coast music, Flacco, mm. pussy. <laughs> so, uh, <laughs> but um, I could tell that you know that you are into Atlanta style music because I went over the little Bootsy uh, song and you had this Migo cadence with like a auto tune. I'm 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 very good at recording. I wouldn't say I'm the best like writer, but what I do is when I go in the studio. Because I know I, I can do one verse in one take. It takes me five minutes. Yeah. But what I found out was a better strategy was I started doing was I started doing bar by bar. Like I'll spit a bar 
and then I wait, and then I spit another bar, and then I'll wait, and I spit another bar, and what it does is it gives me the advantage to think about each thing that I'm going to say and put it into a coordinates to where that it's, it just sounds so dope that you just you can't stop listening to it. It's when so did catchy you, and When did you crack that code? Twelve. I've been recording 12 years. No, I'm saying when did you do the bar, bar, bar? When did you that, start that? I started doing that about a year ago, and my, my entire music changed when I did that. Yeah. My entire game changed when I started doing that. Yeah, cause I, we, <laughs> you know, we've been doing that in the trap though. Like, you know what I'm I saying? I didn't know that method, yeah, bro. That I didn't method, even know it existed. Yeah, that, that's you why, can ask FM. That's like, why you know this is. Ah, da, 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 da. What the fuck is that? rapping? Yeah. This is what, what I that? do. What was that? Do that again. What was that? I won't. I can't repeat it, but you just did twice. <laughs> you want to do it? You want me to do it a third oh, time? Damn! Get on that <laughs> no, but but on a serious note, it sounds like that now. But when you have somebody that is an expert engineer, somebody that's a true professional at their craft, like FM over there, he can make that and turn it into into something really really dope, bro. Like make sure you're up on the mic for us. Oh, sh am I on the mic? You're on the mic. Come right. on. Yeah. So tell me, man, how long uh, how long you been doing music? Was it has it been twelve years? You been doing music, or was it a little longer? I mean, my memory f is kind of fucked up, but well, like most of the time, to it's it like for ten to twelve, ten to twelve, somewhere I, around there. I, so, it's crazy. This is crazy. This interview is very awkward. Yeah. But I'm. I'm I'm holding my composure. You know what I'm saying? I'm here. I'm present. I'm here. All right. So we're, here for, we're here for this, bro. So, so you say 10 to 12 you, years. 10 to 12 years. So in the middle of you doing music, when the f*** did you say, like, hey, I'm going to go learn about the blockchain and start me a mother coin to well, go along with my music it's, it's and started then rap off, about it with Lil Boosie? It started off when I had to carry a piece of furniture upstairs. <laughs> And you, you didn't like to make that a living. Thing. You didn't like that. Thing. <laughs> and I was like, man, this so you were, so you were suck. a professional mover. I, yeah, I did. I own a moving company called Winslow's Moving. I was gonna say, damn, did you work for Mayflower too. Yeah, that would have been. I mean, that's <laughs> a moving company. It's, it's a moving crazy. company. <laughs> no, I didn't work for them. I they was, moved a lot of. I always did stuff there. independently because yeah. I've 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 never really worked for somebody. But like, we can find you on never. Craigslist. Like get on Craigslist, <laughs> looking for some movers. Boom, they your shit's gonna pop up. Well, the Mayflower moved a lot of people. Oh, yeah. That's why they're so big, bro. I'm double back. <laughs> we go back to the Mayflower. <laughs> he don't want to, He love the Mayflower. <laughs> pretty historic. It's so pretty like I historic. said, the yeah. person can like, so you say you was independent, so you can just get on Craigslist, get on Angie's list or something. No, you can search Winslow's moving and it pops up. I'm like pretty much the highest rated moving company in Spring, Texas. But we started off in Dallas and I moved it over to Spring because, you know, my my father passed away and my mom needed some help. That. Yeah, I appreciate it, bro. Yeah. Yeah, he had a, the, you know, the military came out with the funeral. And it was dope. Um, I know. But, you know, let's move on past that, though. Uh, so Why are we going to move on past that? It's all right to talk about it. Yeah. <clears throat> your what, fans, you man. About they, to troll you about your parents? They wanted, we would what? never troll you. I never you said should. that. No, y'all are saying, said, let's move I, on past that. No, just for my own self. Like, oh, it's nothing oh, to do with y'all. Oh, oh, oh. I'm like, why yeah, didn't we take it not like do that, that at all. to you? No, like, I was, I'm like not that. saying, no, bro. I was about to say, what are you, no, you sitting down with? Like, no, we, no, we, no hey, hear me out for a second. It's not that I'm saying that. It's like, I'm just saying for me. You're not trying to open up no one. Yeah, because I just, I respect it. I just like, it's, it's, it's been hard to go through, so it's, you know, you it's just easier for me. I, get, I give him his credit, and then I just move on to the next subject. And the reason why I say that is because that shit it hurts, so I don't want to talk about it. You know, yeah. like, I'd rather talk about something else. I just sometimes yeah, you got this platform the flowers you want to give, not like that, but 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 like this is a big platform, like yeah. you made it here. So it's like your pops, you could give them. You know what I'm saying? Tell them that I'm here. Like, you know what I'm saying? You can open up about that. Don't don't shy away from your past and that went on in your past. You get what I'm saying? Like, yeah. like, like sometimes you got to attack your head up. That's the only way you're going to get over it. I can't tell you how to grieve at all because yeah, I didn't lose sure. my father, so I can't tell you how to grieve. But definitely you got to use that as motivation to. I mean, you know, I'll say this much. Like, you know, before my dad passed away, he told me that he wanted me to blow up and become <clears> super <throat> famous just to prove my entire family wrong because he was like, you know, when you get to that point, you start saying what's on your mind. But 
he just wanted to see me succeed and I'm continuing on. Am I perfect? Does, does everything that I do is always calculated and works? No, but I keep going and going and you going and going and going. I don't, I don't take no for an answer. I just keep going and going and going. And eventually what but happens, it just pops, buddy. you know? If you just keep going, even through the bad days, like this morning I woke up, bro, I didn't want to, I was feeling like shit. I, I had so much anxiety. Like I was tripping, bro, wigging out. But guess what? If I don't do it, who's going to do it? Nobody's going to do it for me. I have to work. And that's the most important thing if you're trying to make it to the top is you got to grind your ass off and you got to push. And that's hard for a lot of people to understand. That's why you see so many talented people that like ain't reached their level yet is because they haven't accepted yet that you have to work. And that's, that's, that's a hard thing to accept, bro. Yeah. Really. Talk to me, Winslow. When, uh, <clears throat> what made you want to hit the rap scene? What made you want to I take mean, on that genre of music? So I started, off, like, when I was a kid, I, I used to listen to 50 Cent, like Elvis, you know, uh, a what? lot of Michael Jackson stuff. What the f 50 Cent and Elvis? I, I like ahead, the, I'm a white boy from f Houston, bro. Like, go I grew ahead, up listening. It was a crazy mix. Go I ahead. know, but. That, I didn't mean to cut you off. No, you're good, you're good. I was just saying, though, like, it's a, it's a crazy mix, but, like, that's, like, what I grew up to, Jay-Z. Um, Lil Wayne, you know, artists like that pretty much is like what I grew up listening to. So, yeah. So you feel like that's what made you cross over to it? Yeah. I mean, I started recording and at first, like, I have a what lot of... What kind of music you know, was you making before rap? Were you making something else? I smell okay. Post below. I'm just... Hey, it's No, I'm saying he could have <laughs> even been with a rock band. Could have been, you know what I'm saying? People got to yeah. find, got to find a niche. I get it. You know what I'm saying? What well, you with any other genre of music before? Not really. And I'm not even saying listening to, actually oh, you trying mean besides to hip -hop? make. Yeah, trying to actually make. I mean, I really like uh, like Nirvana. I like stuff like that because it okay. kind of inspires like the Lil Peep style, you yeah. know, like that just crazy ass shit. Yeah. Um, but like as far as like other genres, man, I'm from Texas, bro. I like country music. I like Morgan That's Wallen. That's what I was asking. That's what we, right. You know, right. I love that type of shit. But yeah. I don't like the the like giddy giddy country shit. I like the yeah. shit like it's commercial you yeah. know I don't yeah. like the that smooth country shit I don't yeah, like yeah, that yeah. Shit. I like the yeah. shit that you can hear and you know it's making money yeah right that's the type of songs Damn I like pop yeah like like country pop but hey Taylor but Swift I'm gonna I'm put you on a the, badass country singer that's blowing up right now he used to write for uh, Morgan Wallen and uh, Florida Georgia Line and his name's Red Farron this dude he's got a song out right now it's called Jack and Diet Coke and this Boy, man, that dude right there, bro, he's about to be the next Morgan Wallen. He's a badass, bro. A badass crazy. country singer. Country music is alive and well. It's so, doing better than it was. <coughs> so you figured that you started off country. So now you were you 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 listen to country music, your parents, they put you on country music. I know they hate it when fifty cent came through the door. When nah. you start listening to rap, no, <laughs> listen, listen to this, man. Start hating the club, banging in your so room. So now that you got tats on your face and you rapping, what do your parents, so what, look, tell us about your parents and how they feel about your career now. I mean, they, they were not outside of your father, your mom's still no, living. Yeah. What does she have to say about your rap career? I mean, you know, like, every son is your mom's, like, most love, you know? Like, I got brothers, so we all, you know, are different, you know, and... Like, the thing is, is with a mom, is there, it doesn't matter what you do, man. It doesn't matter what you, like, Jeez. it don't matter what you're going through. Like, they're, even if they don't like it, they're going to support you because they're your baby. You know, it's like the way I feel about my daughter. Like, my daughter, bro, I love my little girl so much, man. And I love my son. Like, I, I do all this for everybody. It's not just for me. But she hates it, right? Oh, no, she actually likes it as long as I make sure. So, so here's the problem, right? So sometimes I put out songs that are like clean and it's still, you can still enjoy it. You can still listen to it. And then sometimes I get a little too turned up and I put a song out and by the next day it's already out. And then it's a, it's a song with some like words that a mom wouldn't like, you know? So you that's the problem. That. I'm having to slow down a little bit to try to make mom happy too because your family does matter. You got to respect your family. But at the same time, I still can't stop doing what I'm doing because I'm paying the bills. In this game, you know? especially, you know, the music game, uh, 
there's really no breaks on the way to the top. Yeah, I mom's mean, gotta go ahead and be like moms. respectfully to moms. Yeah, <laughs> she's gotta you understand. Gotta like everybody around you has to understand. Like, and I know it's hard because they're not walking in your shoes. But yeah. when you tell them like, hey, this is something I gotta do. They should understand, like, you know what I'm saying? You should be able to break it down one time to them one time only. Hey, understand this. This is how I'm about to have to move. They see what goes on with people that go through this shit, like you were saying earlier. Yeah. It's a struggle, man. Well, it's a real no, struggle. and I agree with you, but maybe you're better at talking than I am. Like, I'm not, I'm, I'm the kind of the person where, like, I, I just hold it in, you know? And maybe that's something I need to work on. But, like, the way you said it was... It made it sound like it was an easy task, but it's it's it not for, it, it's not for certain people though. You start That's talking. What I'm saying. Well, you like, got because we all got different personalities. I'm a bull. I'm a Taurus, so like I'm just aggressive by nature, and I, I sometimes you feel like you shouldn't have to explain it. You should just get it, you know. Yeah, you know yeah. that, Taurus, you know I like the, the <laughs> bull, right? You know why the bull's so mighty and why he walks around doing that shit, right? Because he's really scared on the inside. He's scared. Right. Of, he's scared of people. That's true, though. You know what I'm saying? The bull from yeah. Tours. You know what I'm saying? He's really like why he trips out and he does everything that he does that's and why he's, he's aggressive is because he's really scared. And that's his only defense tactic is, you know what I'm saying, aggressive. Is to be to aggressive. Act, is yeah. to be aggressive. You no, know I agree saying? with you. Like, I actually admit that. That's, that kind of, I used to not believe in that stuff, though, bro. Like yeah. the horoscopes or whatever. Yeah. I used to think, I was like, man, that's some bull. Well, that you make break sense. it down, some of it makes but sense. Some, some of it does. Some, it is. I. I, I, I mean, agree, anything but. you see on it, the, all of it, all the yeah, so yeah, everything on the internet, anything's bullshit. So, how were you raised? Like private school, regular school? Did you go to school <laughs> with? Like, uh, yeah, we gotta get there because you know what I'm saying. Like, I'm, 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 I'm getting somewhere. You know what I'm saying? We are. All right. Yeah. So, was it private school? Was it like I'm the silver spoon baby? Definitely not a silver spoon baby. I came up in a family full of hustlers and hard uh -huh. workers. All but, right. Um, you know, <laughs> <laughs> he said, Hey, cause they're going to call I mean, you I'll, a vulture <laughs> if you don't tell the truth now. All right. I'll tell the truth. <laughs> yeah. You yeah, said, you'll be known as, a, I'm going to put you on to something you very badly at the Yeah. I'm going to put right. you on to something right. else after we, after we get through this. I told all you. Right, all right. Look. All right. So you got to break so down I saw, the bill. I went up. to Christian school when I was there a kid. There we go. I went to Christian school when I was a kid. Good Christian man. Catholic? Yeah. Christian. <laughs> <laughs> Catholic? Christian. No, not Catholic. Uh, Christian. Christian or whatever. All right, cool. A Baptist. Baptist. A Baptist. Oh, all right, cool. <laughs> so, yeah, I went there for a couple of years. Something happened. And I moved on, went to yo, a normal school. Yo, 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 yo. And then. Yo, Christian yo. school, something happened. It's crazy. You got to explain what happened. No, I mean I was a kid. All right, I'm gonna let the remember. chat. I'm gonna let the chat tell them what happened then. What does that mean? Here, let me wake you up some, okay? Yeah, let me, yeah. Some, wake you let up. me let me put some Folgers wake in your you up, okay. <laughs> okay? Please wake you up. And I always say this. Maybe this will help this interview go a little bit smoother, a lot smoother. When we ask you a question, right? We ask you where you went this morning. You can say something as simple as I went to 7-Eleven. Don't tell us that you went to 7-Eleven. Tell us how you got there. That's what it's all about, man. Is getting depth with the story. If you lock up on us, this interview is going to be a dud and there's really no reason to put it out. We need you to take this just as serious as we are. I'm not laughing. I find it very serious. I'm, I'm, I'm interested in the learning who you are. Hell, I've wrote a bunch of questions for you. So I definitely want to get through those. Tell us how you got there, my man. Open up some. This is your story. This is your time capsule. So leave them a good one. Don't leave them a bad one. All right. Got give you. us, give us some, some real here, bro. All right. You got to. All right, I'm trying, man. I'm trying. I'm so trying. We, we back on task. We all <laughs> back, I'm trying, on I I'm back on board. I'm trying. I'm trying. We back I on board. All right. So, go. something happened at school. I, I, okay. So, look, you don't have to speak on it. You could have skipped all the way around it. But something happened at school, and if I let the chat decide who, who, what happened at school, we're not live right now, but we definitely. Definitely could implicate this, this question. This is going to be put out. Yeah, yeah, but that's something I don't even clipped. remember, bro. I'm you're talking about 15 years ago. But bro. what I'm saying is, you right? You remember. No, you remember. Don't. So they're going to yeah, say yeah. that you've been touched by a cap, uh, like a, a school teacher or something or some crazy shit. What? When you leave. All right, so what he's saying is, right, when you 
don't say anything about it, you leave room for it's all the speculation. speculation. You know what and I'm the saying? internet's a dirty place. And the internet's a dirty place. So uh, he's just saying be more thorough about your Yeah, just, unless, unless that's what happened and you want to skip around it. No, I cool. didn't even think of that. That's crazy. Well, you got, we better start thinking. Well, you, when do we turn the yeah, light bulb yeah. on? Because this shit needs to come on right about now, bro. It's very okay, serious. Okay, my bad. I, I'm, not so even, kind of, I'm not even trying to do that. I just, I'm just talking. Like Sometimes talking <laughs> can be a good thing or a bad thing. You told me you're not very good at that. So we might want to play it out thoroughly. You know what I'm saying? Within the questions. He asked you, like, you know, what happened? Because you just kind of said some shit happened and you skipped over. No, I just meant, like, I went, we went, my family went broke. And mm -hmm. I moved, I went, I, Christian school costs money. Costs money. Uh, yeah, so yeah, then yeah. I went to another, you know, like, regular school. That's all I was saying. How was the like, transition? Uh, no, you said some shit happened. I forgot. Like, you know what I'm saying? You leaving. Because when I heard it, I'm like, whoa. Christian school, you know, nah. they got all type of lawsuits. No, it's nah, right nothing on. like that. I was just moving from the subject because it's just not. Man, it's been years since I I went there. It's your struggle. You 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 embarrassed about going broke? Hell no. I Come don't on, give a man. Fuck. You know what I'm saying? You you where you at now, right? Yeah, it's I have all no a part of the I, I story, care, bro. bro. I don't it's care history. about the money, bro. If I did. I, I would have just kept doing my moving company. I was making plenty of money. Okay, yeah. coming so, from a Christian school or Baptist, it was yeah. in whatever one that you said you attended to, how was the transition going from that? Because it's those are two totally different schools, from going to a private school of that matter to a general, it's just general pop, man. Everybody's there, you know? It's public schooling. Was it I any mean, different? To be honest with you, I wasn't like... I was never interested in school. Like, I was bad. You know, I used to just walk out of the class and go to the gym, or I'd just walk out that bitch and go sit in the parking lot and fucking just, like, think about what I really want to do. Like, I, I hated school so much. And a lot of my teachers, you know, they they would say shit. Like, they would just tell me that I'm going to be a failure and shit like that, and it motivated me, bro. Like, they used to, like, the real world is fucked up. So, like, when you're in these places, a lot of people don't know, like, that people act like that. It's not just everybody. Like, we all do shit like that. <laughs> and I never forgot that shit, bro. Like, you know, I just kept pushing. I was like, fuck it, man. You think that about me? Yeah. <laughs> Watch. Uh, uh, watch nigga <laughs> skyrocket on your bitch ass. I, 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 I've been in that position a million times, bro. Everybody think it's over, it's over, and you just got to reinvent yourself. It's like, it's no stopping a real yeah. wrestler ever. Never. Ever. It don't matter what the fuck we got. As long as we can wake up, we don't even got it. We can damn near be paralyzed. As long as motherfucker brain work, nigga, that day, you can tell the <laughs> motherfucker to, to carry out the task, man, it's up. Well, sometimes people mistake crazy for brilliance, and that's the thing. A lot of people are burned out. They're tired, and that's why they act the way they act. That's why they talk the way they talk is because they're fucking burned out because all they do is fucking work. Yeah. But the reality of it is is that you have to be able to identify which one's doing that and which one's not doing shit. You have to be able to identify that because there's crazy people all over the place, but somebody might be the right type of crazy. Yeah. You know? Definitely. I don't know about the right type of crazy. I mean, I get it. Sometimes you can make. Yeah. No, I'm saying the right type of crazy. I know what you're you talking know, about. I, know, I understand. I know. Sometimes you can make more dollars than you do sense to some people, you yeah. know. And yeah. I, I get it. I understand it, completely. It's not easy. Yeah. And hey, <laughs> when we when we give our opinion on something, also you don't gotta feel no type of way about what you said before that shit. I'm gonna feel a certain type of way. You gonna feel? Don't don't double back on what you say. Stand on it firmly. You know what I'm saying? I agree. I agree. You know what I mean? Because I see you keep on talking and I'm like, man, fuck what we talk about over here. Nah, you're right. We, you're we right. chopping it out. You're this right. is real conversation with overall no, real I feel, people. No, I feel you. I Am feel I right, you. church? You know what I'm saying? This is what we do. We chops it up. We gets down to the bottom of it. No, that's cool. So what is your parents in the KKK or not? Oh, my bad. Tell him no. I looked right up when he asked. Really? I was like, what's he going to say to this? No, of course not. I was looking down. I you got any proud boy members like, of your family? Good question. Good answer. That's a great answer, what you just gave. I ain't going to lie. It's a great answer. Back to it, though. Is it, uh, is it complicated? <laughs> <laughs> that break is cold. He just sat there and was like, what do you say to this? 
I'm fucking with you guys. Damn, man. You got the proud members in his family. <laughs> they definitely around. I just wanted to know if I could come get a piece of steak when I was in Houston nigga, at my house, but that's definitely a no. <laughs> <laughs> that's a no. Hey, did Boosie know that shit before the video? All right, what was the next question? Is it complicated or stressful trying to juggle your rap career and your digital coin? I mean, the digital coin is pretty much like what boosted the project, you know, because we were able to do the uh, the Satellite Doge One theme song uh, mm -hmm. with Boozy Badass. Um, you know, my manager, Meech, helped me out with that. Uh, and it's been like pretty much the fastest growing token on Ethereum uh, for the last three or four months. We started off about a $20,000 market cap. And we just kept pushing. We kept working our asses off. And yeah, man, it just everything just came together. So That's crazy, because I was going to tell you what is it ran off of. I, I, I was going to get there. Uh, so are you hip to L.A. Token? L.A. Token? Yeah. What's that? Okay, so through L.A. Token, you can distribute your music as a, as a token. Distribute your music as a token? Yeah, as a coin. Like you sell it like a... Like yeah, what, like and an you NFT can feel what? it. Yeah, in some sort, yeah. but it's like you're you're putting it on a market where other people can buy in through using it, and they can use it as currency also. Yeah. But you're selling shares of your song also if you want. So to. basically, kind of like what Tory Lanez did, like he sold his exactly. album as an NFT, exactly. it not necessarily like a non fungible item, but something that you could just buy and it goes directly into your wallet. Exactly. And you pay what ninety nine cents or what? Like how much do you like? What, you put you put what's your the crypto own, price for it? I like, mean, I you put your own part. because listen, you can say that they have to use the doge one coin or joe yeah. sign or whatever so you put your own price to it and it's whatever your you know the market is on your your own yeah. coin. you get what i'm saying but i think it is powered on ethereum so it'd probably be easy to hook your, your I, coin I wonder to how it. how much toy lanes because i know i had looked it up one time he had made a lot of money off that the method you talking about yeah like he had put his, his whole album instead of releasing it to the public he actually yeah, put it on cryptocurrency coin. yeah and bro that shit it fucking busts. sold out in like a week yeah, and it bust. I mean, I don't know the actual facts behind it, but I remember it being quick. Like, yeah, fast. You never answered my question. What was your question? <clears throat> Is it complicated or stressful trying to juggle your rap career in a digital coin? It's a lot of work. I mean, if I'm being what's honest, that, what's that been like? Yes, be honest. My, my daily life, I feel yes. fucking crazy. When the token goes to sixteen million dollar market cap, you have the entire fucking world depending on you. So yeah, it's not easy, and it's not easy. Wait, wait. <laughs> Go ahead. No, I mean, I'm just asking because I'm trying to figure it out. Like you know, because it's very stressful. He said the yeah. company made 16 million. You know, and like he said, it sounds good. He says, but you know, I had to make sure I, everybody throughout my company made that. And but you said you got the whole world depending on yeah, you. Yeah, you got the whole world. 16 million dollar market cap. You're doing good for yourself. You're doing good with a coin. You got to think we're talking about a coin in $16 million market cap. That's, you know what I'm saying? It's great starting. For but somebody you don't, have, world, it's a good you don't have the world depending on you. Well, that's what it season. feels like, though. Oh, I'm, right, not saying, right. I'm not no, saying I literally. You said now I got the whole world. I'm like, no, hey, bro, hey, check, me out, check, me out check me out for a sec. Check me out for a sec. I'm saying that's what it feels like. That's what it feels like. I'm not saying literally. Yeah. I'm just using that as a term. Got I'm just saying that's what it feels world. like. You feel like it is no, waste, no, no. you know? I hear you. That's a whole thing. I hear you. No, I just was, I couldn't let you just ride your your your, your own horse like that. I thought that's what you said. Like, now well, I brought my cowboy that. boots. I can't ride the horse? Man. Yo, Come on, man. Adam will be back in a couple <laughs> days. Y'all could discuss that on Plug Talk. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? He wanted to ride the horse. You can't ride this horse, goddammit. So you say it's it's been stressful a little bit, you know, trying to <laughs> juggle the two. Do you feel like? All right, I don't know. Are we? I'm Pause. trying to ask. I'm trying to ask. No, I'm me. listening. I'm and listening I, to you, bro. I told it's because back the horse. It was pretty it's, gay. Okay. <laughs> what? It's, <a> wild, man. <laughs> it's been it's it's been rough juggling the two. Pause. 
<laughs> I feel like I had to say that in the mix. You got to. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like it's right there. horses right there. It, it, it's, it's felt like that. Do you feel like it's taken from your music career at all? What is? You know, trying to have to juggle the two from the, the digital coin, you know, and trying to even make sure everything goes properly with that because it sounds like you're running a lot of this shit on your own. Um, I mean, if you have a good team and you got people around you that are supporting, mm. it definitely makes it easier. The problem with building a team is sometimes you run through people, like, and you don't really know who's really got your back. Oh, yeah, really got your back. <laughs> and, like, I mean, that's probably the hardest part is just managing people. But I got a lot of support now. I got Machine. He's from Amsterdam. He's been flying down every week helping me. He's, he owns a, a big old company out there in Amsterdam, does, like, celebrity cabinets, shit like that. And uh, he's, I actually uh, just, just made him a rapper. He's the machine. And he got uh, two videos out. We did a, a remix to a song. It's called Hotel California. That's yeah. dropping. Yeah. No, he's out there somewhere. Uh, but who did the original Hotel California? The Eagles. Yeah. That was my dad's favorite song. Yeah. So you remade it. Yeah, we made a new beat. And it's going to be dope. But. Well, you, when you said it, you said it like yeah. it was your. I'm like, hold on. That's a. Yeah. Iconic it is, it, song. It is going to be an iconic song. No, but, the no, I'm saying the original. Oh, the original yeah. one? Oh, that shit, bro. Man, that shit, you could play it any day of the week, never gets annoying. Yeah. That's a dope song. Dope song. That's bro. a legendary song. So that's what you, <laughs> so that's what you sampled. Did you sample from Yeah, that? like, not like it's a rap beat, but it's got, like, in, in the tunes, like, you can hear a little Hotel California running through it, you know? So I wouldn't say it's like a full sample, but... We we definitely uh, mix some is of that, it up. Is that what uh, made you sample? Is one of your dad's favorite songs? Yeah. So your producer sampled it, or you got the beat that was already sampled? No, it's an original beat. But we, wait, what? Well, I'm saying your producer sampled the Hotel California. You told yeah. him, like, hey, make this beat, or you got the beat already like that, and like, fuck it, I'm a rock with it. No, we made it last night. We rented a studio here, local, and we went to the to the studio, FM. Come up on the mic, son. FM, FM. You, you, FM. you can pull the mic to you, too, like you prefer. Like this? And knock your cup off. Yeah, just like move this? your cup in front it's of the arm. There you go. All right, all right. That's why we don't sit people on this fucking side. Yeah. It's easier to keep them more maintained on this side, but... We had to show what the fuck's going on on the side of your head, which we're going oh, to get to in just a second. we're into that. But I, I wanted to know, <laughs> like, what influenced right that. that song because, you know. Oh, shit. Uh, you know, Hotel <laughs> California is iconic. And, you know, like I said, <laughs> well, I don't, I don't want to say it yet because y'all said y'all was going to do that. So I'm going to wait till then. Nah, he said Hotel California is really iconic. iconic. It's iconic, you know so what I'm saying? So it's the No Jumper that's, that's song. That's a lie. All right, let's just get to it. Do your, your rap career, so you say you got a dude named Machine. Is he around because it he is like the Machine? It seems like he doesn't want to be asked these nah, questions. Nah, Why the nah, fuck nah. did he got this shit on the side yeah. of his head? If that's no, what we got to get no, to. No, 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 fuck that. We going to get to this Boosie video first. We got 394,000. I was going to get Jeez. to that, too, but I like it. We, yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, yeah, you want to yeah, drop yeah, it yeah, no, 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 Let's roll with the boozy shit, because that was a cool experience. Yeah, Let's roll with the boozy shit. 94,000 views in nine days and 44 comments and 82 likes. Mm. Let's talk about it. What do you want to know? Analytics ain't adding up, my man. What do you want to know? Analytics are not adding no, up. No, first of all, we could, we could go. We could, we, could, we, could, we could drive slow. How was it linking up with boozy? Um, it was dope. Boozy was actually really cool. When he got there, you know, like, his manager sent me a list of the stuff he wanted. He wanted some food. He wanted some cognac. He wanted, uh, you know, just make sure that his people was good some when he got cognac. there. Whatever he asked for, like, for his people. No, nah, you so, know we got different types. But, yeah, cognac. All right, cognac, we, we niggas call it cognac. Yeah, well, yeah, yeah, nah, well, yeah, go ahead. But, yeah, so I just made sure he had what he wanted when he got to the to the Airbnb. And his his people came in. They sat down, ate. We went outside, shot the video. So you sent the verse to him. Y'all didn't record in the studio. No, I, I do everything in my house. So I record at the home. I send it to FM. And then FM uh, gets with Meech. And then Meech lines out the features. Sharp. So. The math ain't mathing. No. What? The math it's ain't math. mathing up on your on on, on these songs. And, and you know what? It, it's fucked up because I could tell he genuinely don't know. He don't like. He don't know. Like and somebody told him, him it was. Yeah, probably yeah. to him it's good. So so how do you get three hundred ninety four thousand views? Because the that the, the public wants to know this. How you, do you get want me to this tell minute? you? Yeah. Did you pay? I, I buy the views. Do you know why I do it? 
Why? Because that's what everybody does. It's Everything's so. manipulated. No. no. Yes, it is. No. Absolutely you have to buy not. likes. You, you have think to buy have likes. Let me at least, at least dress the know. whole bitch. I'm, I'm trying to get the team right. That way you can see it right. But if you want me to be real, I'll be real. Of course. Everything in life costs money. You know so, that. Yeah, but listen. You know that's me, illegal, but, right? You know you fucked up, right? You, so you bought the bottle of beer at 10 o'clock. And then I asked you again. Yeah. So you bought it at 11 30. Yeah. No, you're fucked up, right? I like that. That's how I got yeah. it. But you know what's crazy? No, but I wouldn't. Hey, listen, not everybody buys them. I'm, I'm, I'm with you here, and no, let's, but let's that's, really level here. Nah. I, not everybody buys them. Everybody I've never bought them. That's, that's not true, views. bro. The, no, the, the, hell the, big, no. the biggest artist in the world, bro, you think hell their no. shit goes to billions naturally? Listen. They're yeah. not buying three hundred night. If they gotta buy three hundred ninety four thousand, okay. Let me ask you this: If you see something with a hundred k, or if you see something with two hundred views, which one are you clicking? I'm definitely clicking on the hundred k to check if it's real. All right, so once I just I sold my analytics, point. No, once I see the analytics, I'll back up out of there. I rather because check the it's not one. only about. See, this is where you fuck up, right? Is because you can say you buy the views, right? Yeah. But you notice how you can't buy them comments. You ain't buying them likes. So anybody that's in that type of game or sees that type of shit, once we look at the numbers, all right, numbers cool. What's the engagement look like? It's got uh, zero engagement. So what about the? Same? I understand it, your it, purpose, it can't, but you can't, can't, you can't knock somebody we're, trying. No, 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 we're not. No. That's that's what I'm we're getting not, at. We're not knocking because I'm doing everything that I can to to make this shit go viral. It doesn't matter. I don't care. I, I'll I'll try on air everything. Exactly. You know that that that's where we're getting. Like okay, so you got a song from like three years. Ago that did 44,000. Is that you bought those two? <laughs> I would want to say those are more realistic. I would, I would hope. hope. I really uh, would. Like, if that's realistic, I'd rather ride with that and know where I got to clean yeah. up in certain areas versus just buying because the shit's <laughs> not going to add up, bro. <laughs> you, you And you know this shit. <laughs> I would think. I would really think that I know that you know this shit, bro. You do. You all know Jeopardy, nigga. When you thought that you was going to get away free with this shit, like, nah, you no, are bro. with the two. And this is what this we do. So we, I watch show, it. Man. I'm like, this, this is us, man. You I, know what I'm saying? You're not getting it. that bullshit, Mike. It just doesn't all. It it doesn't add up because it has zero engagement. We, I'd rather have the We engagement. want you to win. Can I ask y'all a question? Of the course. Right way. Will you help with my engagement? <laughs> <laughs> That's good. You know what I mean? We, we, we'll talk off camera. Pause, man. That's but, bullshit, yeah. Winslow. Yeah, nah. And you know it is. That's bullshit. And, like, I'd rather you I mean, do I, it genuinely. You, you can call it bullshit, or you can call it hustling. No, just because you hustling. No, no, you know, no, why no, it's no, hustling because no. there's no reward at <laughs> the end of One that. sec. Just because you pour syrup on shit, you can't make it. doesn't make it pancakes, my man. No, I agree with that. You get what I'm saying? No, I so do. that doesn't, but, you can't do that. You can, but you can't sit there and say, oh, like, But, yeah, but you're talking matter. about the entire industry when you say that. No. This, doing this right here? Yeah. Getting you yourself are. seen, like, what you're doing right now, that's the direction you need to be going in. You're doing everything for the wrong reason. You went and got the fucking No Jumper logo tatted on the side of your motherfucking head. Which what, leads what, to what, my what next question. Did. Like, So you don't think maybe my marketing strategy is insane? Do you think that <laughs> it was smart to get a No Jumper tattoo on your head? First and foremost, is it real? Did you really get that? Yeah, that shit hurts. Let me get it. Let me. What? He trying to nah, figure don't... out if you can Dude, rub that's it gross, man, bro. Come on. Come <laughs> here. A rag or something like a wet rag. Is it, is it real? Uh, it's definitely real. You see my face? Hold on. I got I tattoos have... all over. Can I have somebody I'll, I'll come? I'm going to have, have that big black guy out there come lick the side of it to see if it come off. No. Gordy. Hey, no. Check, YBG. Go <laughs> get Gordy, man. Ah, oh, don't do that. And I just. No, he, he just gonna come lick the side. Nah, no, he's uh, not. Bro. We're not gonna do that to the. Just, what, just, I just want to know, like, what um, <laughs> what possessed you to even? Nah. Why? Why did you get that? Why? Why was this? Hmm? You um, I said, why was this? You don't work for no jumper. You're not a part of no jumper. Because like it made sense. It's marketing. It made sense. It's marketing. Tell the truth. Why you did it? You a because fan? Do you watch this? No, shit? I love I love yeah, Adam Twenty Two. He's dope. He he's got a badass podcast. I watch all his shit, so it's normal to me, you know. 
But my thing was is I did a song. What happened? Hey. Come well, make the side of this tattoo, cuz. Oh, <laughs> nah, hey, come get my boy nah, my bitch. Nah, you know, he ain't finna do that boy shit. Nah, come on camera, man. I'm just, God damn. That's my boy YBG, hey, man. Yeah, what's up? How you feeling? Yeah. Good. Nah, we tried to see if the no jumper tattoo was real, but I was just playing. He, he look a little bit nervous. Hey, hey. Oh, That's is that real? real? When'd you get that done? Uh, a couple days ago before I put <laughs> it down here. <laughs> Bro, why you do this, my nigga? Hey, Gordy, we appreciate you, church. Like, like, hey, you, real. you what, can he wipe it? I like, no, no, no. He wipe it. He nah, wipe you gotta it. wipe it. Let him. You gotta wipe it. No, like, more. You gotta Go ahead, do it. Let me see. I think. I think. Uh, I think. That, Why that, you that, that was the weirdest <laughs> shit ever, bro. What the fuck? Hell yeah, I'm shaking my head, my nigga. You damn right I am. You got me a part of this shit. This shit's a fucking this shit show. And look, hey, I'll tell you this, bro. If you went and did that shit right there, that's crazy. That's not a marketing strategy. That marketing that's on the side of your head has nothing to do with you. Nothing. Like I said, I'm really from No Jumper, bro. So I look at it, I'm like, that's some fan shit. Like, that'll never go as any type of notoriety. So where were you? Nor will it hold any seniority. Yeah, what the fuck was you thinking? Like, when you went to go get it, that's like, like, like what was you thinking? I was thinking that I just Don't made say it. marketing. I just said, okay. Yeah, that's what you said it was. Right. Marketing said it was is not marketing. It. That's not it. That's, no, that's a shit. Where were you thinking? That when you I went and got it, yeah. I did a song called Adam 22. And we shot, we're shooting the music video after we leave here. And I was just thinking, like I said before, I'm, I ain't gonna say it, but. So are you, are you, did you say, <laughs> did you say trash, anything bro. about hitting his wife in the song? What? Did, yeah, are you talking yeah, about fucking funny. Lena? No, bro, what the hell? I don't, I ain't a disrespectful person, bro. I'm just asking a question. Nah, I would never say some shit like that, bro. That, that just, ain't that ain't my business. I'm just making sure that you're not coming up here making the little. There's a lot of salt. No, I'm gonna tell you this. I made there a cool. Is, I mean, there's a lot of salt. Well, I'm not gonna say a lot. Is that no, part hell no. That I, be overreaching. I would never there's come. There's a few to, songs out there that pertain to that. So he just asking you. Yeah, like, no, hey, I, and I'm answering you. I would never. I would never. Uh, that's that's crazy, bro. Like I would never come up here and disrespect team. Yeah. So hold on, you never what? I would never come up here and bring a song to y'all and disrespect you. Like, you said team? Team, team, yeah, you're not from family. Team, though, gang. I don't know. Oh, we fuck with you. No, I didn't say me. So you're not from hey, no, jumper, no, you're yeah. not hearing me, bro. I I'm didn't hearing. say I was a part of No Jumper. I said I would never come and disrespect y'all's yeah, team, team, is what I'm saying. I didn't say that I, I was a part of a team. But I'm just saying I wouldn't. Why would I do a song and diss you? Like, I did a song because I, I love it. I was checking. I was checking. Because a lot of people, like, you, because it's seeming like trolly, like, what you doing? Like, you got the tattoo. <laughs> You come up here, you know what I'm saying? You Shout out to Kiki. Here. Kiki the only nigga, Kiki the only nigga, homie, that got no jumper tattooed on the side of his head, but I can give him his respect because yeah. the nigga actually worked here, man. Yeah. So shout out to Kiki, hated to love it. But you, you ain't never worked here, bro. I, we ain't never seen you around this motherfucker. <clears throat> that shit's all new. So when I see a nigga come in with a no jumper tattoo on his head, shit, nigga, we all raising our eyebrow. Like, who, who, who would do that? What was the real Me. plan behind that? <laughs> That's fucking crazy. So are you like a at like a, you watch it every day? You're you, a fan. Do you, do you, are you a part oh, of the Oh, I love No Jumper. Fan. Yeah. I love No Jumper. Hell you're yeah, bro. It's, the, fan, it's, it's, bro. it's the biggest platform in the world for hip hop. What's hip-hop? your favorite No Jumper moment? To be honest, I like the boozy stuff with No Jumper because he 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 says a lot what of crazy ass shit. Boozy, I don't remember the hey, boozy uh, gets posted Donnie, on the Instagram a lot. Donnie, do we got one? Boosie interview up here. Hell, I think we got a vlog. I, think I don't know if he it. came here, but y'all 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 post him on the I Instagram. Did, I did something with Boosie that was brief at the BET Awards. I don't nah, think we got anything we never, that comes through the Boosie never man. came in. No, nah, bro. So yeah, nah, but I'm talking about on your Instagram. Awards, so what else? It. What else? Come on, we gonna give you another motherfucker shot. You you, you on some bullshit right now, bro? <laughs> you on some motherfucker boy? I should have let her lick that motherfucker, girl. I would have just took the aggravated assault. <laughs> it's just in case. I'm, I'm having you come back here and lick that motherfucker in the second game. He stood keep up, on, yeah. keep on playing with that Church, bullshit. Church, he stood up. Was like I know this motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> 
He stood up and looked y'all, at him like, y'all assholes. don't come at me, bro. He looked at him like, don't fucking come at me, bro. Don't you fucking do it. He was ready to throw them things. <laughs> Anything he before somebody, before he somebody right lick you up. Right. You ain't never been licked by another man on your tattoo before? <laughs> I know Do you always ask these type of questions? Because I, 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 I was starting, I was starting to be concerned a little bit. You, I'm saying, have you? You asking a lot of questions like that? Yeah, I'm asking a lot of questions like that. Have what you made you want to um, intertwine your coin with the song? No, nah, fuck that. Hold on, bro. What's your favorite no jumper moment? You have a no jumper tattoo on the side of your head, bro. He's not. He said a boosy moment, gang. What? What else? There is none. All right. Only one. What's, that I mean, it's your, 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 your brand. Your it's cool. Like, why do you see the 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 Tony Hawk shit everywhere? Like, why do you see what Tony Hawk? No, let no you're not. Fuck it. Come on. No, nah, you gotta let me fuck. Hell no, nah, I'm not letting you slide with that because you gotta. Because because look, bro, you already. Because this is where I was. I was driving down this road because I, yeah. I took you down to country music. I took you down to like like like. What's your favorite Fifty Cent song? In the club. <laughs> You see what I'm saying? Yeah, Cup playing, bro. Cup playing, bro. That's a bullshit. Cup playing. Hey, you playing yo, with the coach again. What's the what's one crib. like for real? What's one thing other than like is like I said, you see Boosie, that's just on Instagram. We post a lot of various rappers. So that doesn't really matter. What's one moment on no jumper that you could say that's your favorite? I mean, you got a billion videos out. You asking a crazy question? What I can't mean? watch them all. It's always one that sticks Yeah, but out. you watch one. Out. You know, I watch them every write. day. But you talking to somebody that has a memory expectancy of twelve hours? No, we're talking bro. to somebody. You got a crypto no coin, so we supposed tattoo. to we supposed to trust I got a thousand and invest dogs. with you. We supposed to trust and invest with you, but you can't remember a fucking episode that made you get that fucking tattoo on your head. I'm not gonna let you get away with the short memory right Understandable. now. Understandable. I'm with you on that. Well, you know what. I'm not letting you get away with that. Get or the, away, or get the away coin with is counterfeit. Have ah, it. bro, you you tripping, bro. All right, so let's talk. You tripping. Is it? Yeah. No, I'm saying, is it counterfeit? What is it? How can I'm it be? I mean, so what okay, I'm saying, let, me, let me educate you guys you, a little no, bit. No, 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 no. Me, I'm not no, saying let me, that. Let me I'm telling you, let me educate you a little Before you even go, I'm not calling your coin counterfeit. I'm telling you what you're, you're, you're not giving us anything to believe in. You're telling us that, oh, my memory's short. You're, you're copping out with excuses and all that. But like, so was this a clout chasing thing? Because I'm I'm trying not to call you a culture vulture. I was trying to give you your route so they wouldn't. But you know what it is? Is white people got their own rap culture now. And it's not even a part of our culture. It's just like y'all own shit that y'all got going on. And it's like y'all don't pay homage to like 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 the ground base. And y'all so come that's in why it's they like call a fucking joke. It's like uh, something yeah, to laugh yeah, yeah. at. Like I'm trying to take you serious. You know what I'm saying? You just fucking laughing and just keep like sounding off. I'm and like, you don't bro, understand. Are you like, do you want to be interviewed or is this just like just some playful shit so you can come in and just show this fucking tattoo off that you ain't a part of none of this shit, bro? You don't know what built this shit. If you want to say you're a fan, your favorite favorite 50 Cent yeah. song was in the club, cool, gang. Man. You're playing, bro. Playing with it. Like, bro. what's your favorite Jay-Z song? Are we talking about the Doge one? What are we talking about? You said what? What? Yeah, come on. I'm come sorry. I'm not trying to offend you guys. You're not offending not nothing. Offending nothing. I'm just talking. Well, what you got going on, baby? Let me see that one, cause all right, all right, we we get another seat for you real quick. Okay, we good, we good, y'all good. Yeah, yeah, it's all good. We're great. Yeah. It's good. It's my man. Oh, this it's good. this this is you know my show is no statements. This is a a real nigga. You have know said conducted real. a real interview, and this is a real person for that real. got some real shit going on. He for got real. the coin, salute the coin, and all that, but. At the time, sometimes you gotta break some shit down and rebuild it. Oh, we yeah. gonna get to the top on this motherfucker, but a motherfucker gotta give you what you been looking for. You can't let no yeah. jumper. Order, this is what you looking for. Yeah, of course, of course. This is one of the most craziest interviews I think I've been a part of 
in a while, bro. Yeah, we get there. He hit the weed. He hit the weed. <laughs> I think this shit is fucking baney. I'm not gonna lie to you. Character over content. I'm gonna be the next Joker. For yeah, what? Be the next Joker. In the next move. Yeah. Mike, you gotta get some ice, bro. Uh, come on. <laughs> this nigga is gonna... like this shit is this. <laughs> we in for a fucking treat. Like this shit is insane. You are. You are. I'm gonna fucking give you the good good. Oh shit. Why can't he though? I don't understand this no, tactic. But that's what I'm saying. Nah, was that a warm up? I'm trying to figure out. Was this. that a warm up? I'm this trying to figure out this. this Y'all just did a warm up on me? Hell no, it's in a warm up. This shit is really done. <laughs> shit really What's happened. What's up, man? Warm up. <laughs> the letter? Oh, the letter. What the fuck is a warm up? <laughs> you talking about practice, nigga? I <laughs> know. <laughs> he talking about practice. We don't do she no practice. She shows up with lighting a cigarette like somebody's shady lawyer. <laughs> I'm like, man, what's going on, dog? Like, <clears throat> she showed up like, yeah, I got all the good stuff. I'm like, well. My manager's here. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you for helping me. No problem, no problem. Hey, man. Your manager, she can't write, she can't rap your raps for you. You know what I mean? Nah, this shit is amazing. We, we definitely gonna get what the world want to know about you. Of course, of course. And, you know, you do all his raps and all everything. We're still on him. You Listen. Might. We're, we listen, on? I'm going to tell you, this is what we're on, that tattoo on the side of his head. Okay. You got to remember where he's at. Yes. Okay? Yes. Let's, rem let's, let's look at Rock that right now. Rock did this for Blueface. Yeah. yeah. Let's, no, let's, that, start, that let's start crazy. there. Let's Besides start there. That's some crazy shit, too. Yeah, That's for some real, crazy shit. For real. Besides being uh, just a fan of No Jumper, we all are, actually. Uh, I can tell you shows that go from, from Brick Baby to yeah, Wag to Adam to everything. Sorry. Yeah, 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 yeah. From like, like the H. <laughs> What's your name first and foremost? Derek Dean. I'm a songwriter, engineer, Grammy nominated songwriter, engineer, manager of Winslow Banks here, and run crypto coins and everything with him with my husband, Meech Wells, who is also a platinum producer. Been out, uh, did Snoop over 22 million albums and stuff. Uh, Mary Wells, son of Motown and everything. So we all. Work in the when in the business for years. I've worked for multiple labels, from Warner Brothers to Interscope, under Kevin Black, Jimmy All Iovine, right. different things like that. Okay. So, so what you were saying there about him and his no jumper tattoo? I was saying, besides just being a because you stepping in and some hot shit, so we I, right, I, so I, we I, don't I know. understand you what this is. is. You, I know. You, know you jumping in front of a Mack truck right now. Yeah, so, I, I know so. I'm jumping in front of a Mack truck. Yeah. I'm you ready to get hit through, and plow down and, you and got come back at you with it. Go with it. No, it's be, besides being just a general fan of the No Jumper, period, all of us, uh, he's done a song for No Jumper, Adam 22 and everything. Mm -hmm. and but just, it's all for the clout. No, 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 no. No, it's not. It's it's not Adam. He didn't do it. He did it about Adam. It's a difference. You ain't do it for Adam. Adam didn't call him and tell him, hey, no, let's true, make, a, true. Hey, make this song. True. He did it huh. not about uh, about Adam. Yes, not necessarily for Adam, but about Adam and about No Jumper as a whole because he is a fan and we all are fans. And, the, you know, it's great. Besides publicity and everything, it's just a great platform and we support the platform wholly. You don't find a tattoo a little extra. I, I'll say this. I, no, I not anything. a man. Thank you, not that. Thank you. No, Thanks, I'm sorry. Uh -huh. I, I'll say this. I don't mean anything out of disrespect. No, we're just we trying to get that. Listen, disrespect. we're just trying to figure out what I love. It no is. jumper, bro. Like what? It, I don't. To me, it's not it's, like it sounds crazy. You love the Instagram shit. I like Instagram. Yeah, you, I like the Instagram. Hey, so yeah. you first said marketing, right? You yeah. went on the marketing side of things. When we were like, well, that's not really a good marketing approach, you went on to say, now it's like, I'm a fan. I love No Jumper. But it's so a great I'm marketing approach. It's a great marketing approach for the crypto community. They love seeing anything with any kind of plug, any kind of big big podcast show tv show anything is great for the crypto co community and it raises the price and the market value of the coin itself the so besides being today. in and besides being just regular fans so and everything, it brings it. other so people in being a fan you're just a fan bro pretty much but it brings oh, other people guys. in to the coin much love to you but you're just a fan though it was never for no marketing because i'm trying to figure this shit out bro, if i, I wanted to make money i would just do the wrong thing Wait, I wait, don't. Listen. I hold. I push my projects. I work. 
and I grind. And that's that Listen, simple. I don't care my about PR fucking and your PR are friends. Yes. You came across my plate. You're an interesting dude. You know what I'm saying? I, I went through your page. I'm like, I can interview this dude. Just you stressful. make it to the big stage, and you're not ready. You gotta be ready, man. You gotta be ready. You 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 coming up with shit, and then you going back on it. You know what I'm saying? You talking about you love No Jumper, but you talk about it's a marketing strategy. <laughs> you did a song for No Jumper. Now all this shit yeah, could have went right, right for you. Way. No, no, all this shit could have went right for you. You're taking out the wrong way. Boy, but you don't I'm even know who Brick may be a sharp You'll fuck head. around and get beat up for that shit on the side of your head. You don't know. But, this is a people. But the thing about it is. But the thing about it is. Not by us. We don't support you. Come on, man. But the thing about it is. We're going to support you. I'm saying people in the street. You don't really know what's on the side of your head, bro, is what I'm trying to to tell you bro like it's really like Look, one bro, of the I'm most no love. but the but the but the crypto community like that's I said the marketing part of this comes from the crypto community not just regular I mean, people and not less, not just regular fans out in the street it has a lot to do with the nobody. crypto community this and is, and things like that now we support brick baby we support adam we support all of it because um, i do. mean we we he do too you do he, he didn't know who brick baby was till today no, that's not true. You're saying, no, bro, wait, hold on. Now, let me, let me, let me, let me, let me say something. Let me say something. Let me say ready. something. Go ahead. Okay. Go ahead. I did know who you were, bro, and I knew who he was, too. That's why I asked you guys if we could take a picture earlier. No, that's did cool. I not? What I'm saying is you think you know, but you wasn't ready. I don't know you, you, you was do a your person. Homework. You didn't I don't do know you as a person. No, I don't. came up here with no smoke screen. You would have came with the real bro, deal. Bro, I'm saying that I don't know you as a person, and I don't know him as a person, but I came up here, and I recognized that y'all were celebrities, and I asked you for a picture. Did I not? Yes, sir. Okay. But what I'm saying is, you would have came to this interview ready to go. I am ready to go. All right. So. And of course, you know, Brick Baby. My favorite Brick Baby, if you want to know about no jumper moments and stuff, is with Aunt Glizzy and your know, beef with Aunt Glizzy, because that shit is some funny shit. That's I believe so that you are supported, baby. I'm not saying that. I'm saying for the strategy, because just imagine it like. We really give it going light because the chat is going to go saying, crazy. Do you know that there's a lot of virus. haters out here, bro, mm -hmm. and they see that, that's a fucking target. Like, I don't even think you know, bro. Like, that's a target. Like, yeah, we're like, we're loved by a lot, but there's a lot of people that don't fuck with it. Dude, I've been targeted my whole life. Yeah, I, I, I just wouldn't want to see you in the mix and nothing like that because you don't really understand what comes so with this So go on shit. Fig like, Unity after with this. this bro. Yeah, yeah but, go over go there with But you're saying I don't know. Go certain Fig places. But you're saying yeah. that you don't, I don't know what comes with it, but, bro, I've been, I'm not new to this. Hey. You'll go to the fig community right. after this and represent no jumper. We will go everywhere. We will go everywhere and represent See, no jumper. T real like invite him up there. No, no, no we no, will no, go no, on no, any no, platform no, and represent no jumper. Yeah, he go, go, I'm we, saying if we it's go, like a move, the, we got the Doge one. We got the Doge one. Nah, hey, go up there. You I'm go saying that right now. Don't switch up. I'm saying. I'm saying that right now. Let's slow down. Let's slow down a little bit. Let's slow down a little bit because I think we're getting a little off topic. Like, look, guys. The Doge one and the No Jumper tattoo to me was a good idea because No Jumper is the biggest podcast in the world in hip hop. The coolest too, and the coolest, of course. And Doge the one, but hear me out. Hear me yes. out. Doge yes, sir. one is the biggest crypto token of 2024. Well, We're if you wanted to do Eden. business, bro, why don't you just knock on the door and say that? We wouldn't even have to be here. I right knocked now. on the door earlier. It took thirty minutes. But to get you in. came for the wrong reasons. <laughs> <laughs> nah, but you came for the wrong reasons, bro. No, yeah. we came. We came yeah, for real yeah, to promote yeah. really, bro? the do the yeah, satellite yeah. those one satellite. Reasons. We could have did that though. We could have talked some business, like and really did some business like that. You know what I'm saying? But like I'm over here treating this like this is a real interview. We want to yeah. know this man, know about him, know his music history, everything. Yes. Like we're trying to really go down the lines, and it seems like it's more of a joke to your artists. No, and it's not. Uh, he he's had a lot of you know, a lot of songs with a lot of big artists, and there's more to come. We got a Post Malone I've, feature okay, coming. I've done a we lot. Got, of, I've I done a lot of big Post interviews. Malone. I, I smell some Macklemore in the mix too. Shout yeah. out to my nigga Macklemore. Oh, thanks. Him. That's that's yeah, a that's a good look. We need to. 
yes, talk I, about that too. That's it. a good one. But, but we got some more big things coming, and it's not no joke. It's not he's a real oh, rapper. Yeah, yeah. He did the Doge one, Satellite Doge one I'm song. Saying, I've of interviewed course. a lot of high profile people. I've interviewed a lot of artists, a lot of people from all over different types of cultures and genres. I've never had a person just sit there and laugh the whole motherfucking time. And like, bro, you give me being, some weed. Why the fuck do you think I'm laughing? You should have never asked smoked us it. A weed. We gave I know, you but I'm weed. saying that's why I'm laughing. You should have never smoked it. Okay, you, maybe you're right. We're in the room. Like, we, I'm just like, saying, like, job, that's why bro. I'm like, laughing, bro. We on the clock. Like, I'm going to do this shit I'm for not real. laughing on purpose. I was high. <laughs> <laughs> okay, he might be high. Yeah, but get this, get a little no, bit. no, I don't, no, no, I don't want to get another weed Come attack. On, man, I'm get good. a little bit. Oh, no, no, I'm good. Come on, you gonna need it for me. You gonna need it, man. Nah, this I don't that need no, this we that good, but, but like, we are promoting his serious. real music with real artists with a lot, a lot of stars coming on behind it. Not just Bootsy. That was just the first of it, and we are promoting the Satellite Doge One Coin, which will have a launch on February 14th, which is skyrocketing the price as we speak. And so the no jumper and everything in the crypto community is different from the rap community they get hyped on different stuff like any little catalyst that you have I, and it I, could be a podcast it could be a tattoo it could be a video with Bootsy it could be we, if we you bring baby that shit world. real like that shit's perfect we are in the same man. world yeah like, I don't but look at know. this man he's tatted from head to toe don't so that, that ain't that ain't nothing I that don't even think Donnie you tatted from Donnie, head to toe yeah I am Donnie does Adam got a no jumper tattoo no no <laughs> Come on, bro. See the owner. But that's love. But that's love. You got to look at it as love and respect for you guys versus uh, like uh, uh, versus a ploy or anything. That's Listen, just love, that's just love. mad love no and jumper. respect. I gotta ride with this shit till the wheels fall off. But homie, I'm telling you, bro. Like I that tell shit you what it is. is we gonna get to the good side of it. It's just something. We, gotta, we appreciate I mean, y'all, y'all, support, y'all, y'all, y'all. We appreciate y'all the like love scamming. and support. Y'all talking well, about? You should be. Why? Why would you be? Why, he why he's telling me I should be. Why should I be scared? You you got no jumper on the side of your he head. He don't even know. You think everybody loves Donnie, you don't feel like that's low key a target. Okay. A target for a target for who? Did I do something wrong? Uh, you didn't but a target for who? A target for who? Listen, a lot of people. Let's in play. That. Let's let's play back the situation with Desto Dub. Oh, we don't Come on, man. Don't, don't make me feel uncomfortable. I mean, that's, yeah. can, there's a lot of things that can. We tell said you. nothing's gonna just, happen by us. What do you mean? Never make you feel uncomfortable. I'm just talking. I know you say you say like be a problem, and I hope like even the chat. Are you talking about from people that have dislike for No Jumper that? There's a lot. Oh, yeah, there's, there's a, a lot. lot. Of people that love yeah. us, but there's, there's a, a lot. lot. But I don't even think that comes from you and Brick. I think that comes more from Whack. But look, it's not even about who it is. And especially him not being affiliated, that's something to beat up on. That's something right there to tag. That's something right there to get on camera and record. Like, Pro. look. Troll I and use no him as a fucking tool it. for that, and that's not. I don't. I wouldn't want to see that for him. I'm no, really just no, trying to and, give him and that's some game to and we like, don't. And hey. I appreciate that part, but yeah. it's not. It's not about that. It's not about you know just trying to be down or nothing. It's really as a, a sign of respect. Understandable, but there's going to be a lot of people that are not going to take that like that. Right, and that's why we got to change the narrative on that. Well. It's never going to change. Um, it's going to be probably what it's going to be. You know, I mean, I've been here for a while. Mm -hmm. Love No Jumper. I stand with it. But we kind of know what come with this shit. That's why we all signed up. We we with it. We in the And we down for whatever come with it, too. And like, a, part like, of none of that. I know, but and like you just said, like you just happening. said, you want us to go on FIG. What was Y'all civilians. You go FIG community. The civilian FIG church. community and everything. We're, we're down to represent anything that No Jumper represents to show you that for the support that we have. We go on FIG. You know, community and all that. Around they here come, trying to you, play you, games. You, 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 you really hey, don't get I'm saying, no, I'm listen. I'm telling them the truth. Listen, bro. What the hell what is going on? Huh? You want the red I mean, pill your the manager pill, is talking for you. You can talk I, for you, yourself. I know, you, but y'all, y'all. But now you're it. acting like you're not a man and you don't know what's going on. We're, we're all we're doing is telling you that it comes with <laughs> good. Is a bad bro. idea? <laughs> Horrible fucking idea. Yes, it was horrible, man. I'm just being honest with you. I love No Jumper. This is my flag. Like, I'm, you, I'm, I'm, you, 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 like we can't, you, you mark, that's a target. When you out in the world, that's a fucking target. And him being outside and trying to move around. That ain't like, even, mm -hmm. the, that ain't fuck the target part. You're safe. 
He, he, yeah, nine we all know he's safe. Nobody's got, nobody's this man is from Houston. He's not. He don't move around LA happen. like that. No, but but he's safe this. in that because we know what it is. It's not like he's representing. Uh, this sect or that sect or anything like that. He's represented just like as a fan. If I got a picture of Tupac uh, on my leg or something like that, I'm a fan. I'm you know I'm supporting. No jumper yeah. at Tupac. But if you no. but if you but I'm just saying. If you if you was a Tupac if you had like, if you yeah, had a picture of Tupac back when Biggie and Tupac was beefing and you was in over there with Biggie, I still wouldn't Biggie, give a bro. damn. If I'm with Tupac, I'm <laughs> with Tupac. That's what it is, and you take the consequences that come with it. And that's what we say. He and he's as long as he's to cool act like he didn't know. Yeah, that it would probably really, be that. Yeah, that's that's and that's all. That's all it is. Hey, do your saying. shit, but I'm telling you, that's a bad idea, bro. All right. Wasn't smart, brother. All right. Cause it, just look, it, 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 it's, it's giving stalker. You, you, you give if you was pulling up and say Adam was here right now, mm-hmm. nine times out of ten Adam would be hiding from you. A person ten he's never met, yeah, 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 yeah. A person he's never met before with the that with the no jumper tied on him, and he's shooting a no jumper video that day. You're coming in hot. He probably wouldn't even have wanted you here. Because he probably would have thought, like, you're just trying to utilize the facility. He's trying to get as close to it as you can. Because, like you said, you don't take no for an answer. I listen. I do this interview shit for real. So I listen to it all. You had a point. And, like, yeah, he's going to look at it as, like, yeah, he probably shouldn't even have been here for that. I oh, hell, I don't take no as an answer for anything. There's always a, rail, a way around. No. I understand. But craziest thing ever I've seen. So crazy. We can go back to talking to him, or we could talk to you. It's on no, you. Bro, I love you guys. It's, it's all, it's all good. Too, it's, it's all love. love. It's all love. We'll, we'll, we'll leave him alone. I don't know what to say. No but I just, too. hey, let me say something real quick. I don't know what it is, but I, trust me, bro. Like I watch all y'all shit. Like on some real ass shit. I fuck with you guys. Y'all fucking hard. That's why I asked him earlier. You were standing there with me. I said, hey, bro, you be in a picture. Cause I fuck with you guys. Don't I understand you know, that? Like, I it's fuck understandable. With y'all. We know you fuck with the concept of no jumper, man. We get we 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 get that part. You just don't understand wait, why wait. I was born like this. I know why, and that's why I'm going there. <laughs> you are doing white boy shit. You get what I'm saying? You are a born white boy. So it's like, this is the type of shit you get. Did y'all hear that, guys? I was white born boy. white. Yeah, you were born white. Well, that's, that's, that's a little that's, that's a little that. obvious. <laughs> yeah. But uh, he, you know what I'm like, he, loves our, he loves the culture, and he's Listen, actually really about the culture. For him. Would, no, I, that's I, true. I, that's I, true. I, I, is that what like, people away. try to do is like try to come we, on the we platforms? We go back to just or interviewing go, him. Is that what people do is they try to come on platforms and try to show how much of a culture vulture they're not? I don't get it. Are you, are the, do people come to get interviewed, or do people come to try to prove that they're not something to the people? Because I don't think it's necessarily. I think that hinders the story. I feel like that hinders the wait, interview. Bro, wait, I feel bro. like it fucks a yeah, lot of things wait, up. Wait, bro. Let me say something though. Like I feel what you're saying. Like straight up. Like I really feel you. But at the same time, though, what you got to understand, it's not being a culture vulture when you. <laughs> You didn't come to up to prove that you're not one. I'm saying to come on like and like emphasize anything. I've been doing that it for twelve years. Is, is not one. I don't have to prove my music. I've been doing it for twelve years, bro. I don't think it's necessarily a culture vulture thing. I think it's like being raised. It's just like a white boy being a raised Texas around boy, black black people. It's just like Gary Owens in his comedy was he when he talks around about black people. Yes, that's where I was trying to go. Yes, but no, but you can't you can't answer. For no, that's okay, I saying. won't so answer for it. I won't to, answer for him. I was in going that. through. That's what I'm saying. I'm going through that. But every time I give him a shot, man, it's negating he, he, from the fact that you probably never once touched the culture. You get what I'm saying until you. And see, up. he has to answer that, but I could say that he has. It's like Gary Owens, who was raised. He, oh. you know, he kind of assimilated himself in the black community because he was raised around black people. That's so. why and married a black woman, and that's why he could do it. Okay. This person. Winslow has also assimilated into the black community like that. So yes, he was raised around right, black people. Well, we got to we got to get it from him, sweetie. Yep. I mean, unless you want to finish the interview for him. Nah, he good. Uh, he good. I'm so, good. That's what I'm saying. So <laughs> you being raised 
at this Christian school that you went to another school in middle school. I asked you that <laughs> for a reason. To see at what point did you start coming? <coughs> You're now wrong, huh? Oh, Sorry. Right. Down the wrong hole. Yeah. Uh, Boss. Oh, okay, uh, Sorry, right, man. Uh, Good old crown. Oh, shit. Yeah. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You went to... <laughs> Oh, uh, you went to so Christian so school. Oh, yeah, appreciate it. Yeah, you, you went to another school. When did you start encountering the culture and dealing with like Damn. blacks <laughs> and hip hop? It's funny. Man, are you playing with us, gang? Since I was a kid. <laughs> This nigga playing with us, bro. Like, this is crazy. What it's the fuck funny. is this shit? Like, it's, it's, come on, bro. It's like, funny, yeah. I'm not trying to. I'm just fucking having fun. Have, have fun, bro. But, like, at least yeah. if you're going to laugh, I'm not trying to be a dick. No, I can't help it, bro. The weird, y'all's Cali shit way stronger than the shit from Texas. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> I, thought every day, I thought every day was big in Texas. Oh, oh it is. Oh. But what I'm oh. saying, <laughs> what I'm yeah. saying. Say the shit the Cali. Weed. Everything was yeah, always top yeah, shelf. Yeah. Everything's supposed to be top of the line. Last time I checked, hey, look, hey, my, hey, my best friend, my best it's friend, bigger, friend Danny, not necessarily he's from better. Cali. And we met in crypto like four years ago. We talk every day it's on the phone. Supposed to be big techs. Yeah, but I'm saying, no, let me tell you, let me tell you a little backstory. My best friend on crypto, his name is Davy, and we be talking on Telegram, and we've been talking for like four years. And bro, he tells me the Cali life every day, and I tell him the Houston life every day. And, bro, like, our stories go back and back and back and back. Because he say it's cold here sometimes whenever it's not supposed to be. Like, if you're in Houston right now, it's a little hot. But if you go out in California, it's cold. But do y'all, during the summers, is it hot or no? <laughs> is it? Yeah. It's hot? It yeah, man, it's hot. What's the hottest temperature it reach? Bro, it just depends on where you're at. Is going on. It just depends on where you're at. You know, what? any valley areas, you know, all the way from Vegas, all the way to San Fernando Valley, all that shit. That shit gets hot in the valley. I, Vegas can get to 120-something degrees, bro. Listen, bro. What the fuck is you talking about? They can get 120 man. in your garage. What like, what the fuck, fuck are we are saying? Like, yeah, it gets about. hot. Well, I don't know. When did you, Last time I went to California, so you got, a be, you got a best friend that you never met before? <laughs> yeah. You do music? You ain't never had to travel? <laughs> Yo, bro, go ahead. This huh? nigga got a best friend you never met before. All right. <laughs> All right. So, um, this shit is stupid. <laughs> we got to be... Because I really want him to have like a real and ease. <laughs> but if, this is what I'm saying. You do it too much, gang. So right, how old are you, Church? You gotta, how old are you? I'm ready. How old are you? I'm um, 32. 32? Yeah. 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 If a nigga touch that chin, a nigga be in the wrong, bro. You, you said that chin? chin? No, that chin. Oh. Chin. 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 Chay and Jen. Chid. I know Joe on the side of your head, nigga. Yeah, you wrong, bro. You out of pocket. Wrong. I thought I was... You don't even know what comes with this shit, bro. I thought I was None cool. None of it. Uh, you said you thought what uh, was cool. Uh, you can't even call you a like super me? fan. No, you're cool. No, it's cool. You can't you even call you a super it. fan. You, you don't even know... No, you don't know anything about this shit. You talking about some... Yeah, but, but you gotta look at the value. clips that landed on Instagram. Like I said, the most we ever did, I think I vlogged BET Awards, and that's where I interviewed him at for a brief second. He's never been in the building. He's never been on the well, channel. I'll say this. I didn't do none of it to, to make you guys hate me. I we're like, not like you you're, you're, not you're like looking me. for notoriety. No, 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 no. And you that's laughing, not what we're here for. Like, at a nigga why I know, nigga but, asking but you all got to understand that I'm more disrespectful than yeah, think anything about it, that you talk about. You're being serious with me. Okay. Right? Yeah, and I'm laughing. Yeah. Why you keep laughing? I'm, laughing, laughing, I'm not laughing to laugh at you. I'm laughing because I'm fucking stoned, bro. Y'all gave me California weed. That shit crazy. Bro, you playing too fucking much. Uh, Six up. That shit ain't. Like, if I fucking got you on a, a nigga platform, bro, either you go do an interview or you yeah. gonna get the fuck on at this point. For real, like, homie. You know I'm, I'm sorry, bro. Like, My bad. Like, you know what I'm saying? I was saying? trying like, to be like that. Motherfucker keep asking you questions, you laughing and shit. 
You talk about you, nigga. You got a best friend. No, you I'm not. No, I'm asking, you, where did you come playing. across the culture? No, I'm not trying to. Where did you come across the culture? It's because yeah. you playing with the okay, wrong all right, nigga. All right, let's How you coming to no jumper? Straight. You got some not, on the side not, of your fucking head to, and you can't I'm be not, serious. I promise you guys, I'm not trying to be disrespectful or... All right, cool. Well, at this Give point, it's starting to... It, it's starting all right, to, so, okay, let's it, start again. Saying, let's do it fresh. It's looking right, like give me that, the question. Bro. Give me the question. Give me the question. I'm ready. Come on. Let's go. Why the fuck did you get that on the side of your head? And it's not for marketing, bro. Why? Like, bro, why come troll in our building? Like, why waste, like, don't waste people's time. Like, we really take this shit, what you got on the side of your head, we take this shit serious, bro. We come up here, then we work our ass off, homie. And like I said, you don't know what really come with this shit. So when I see somebody come in here and he's got something like that on the side of his head, nigga know something. Know what this shit come with, bro. It come with a lot of blood, sweat, and tears, homie, even in a short amount of time. Oh yes, yeah, hated or motherfucking love it. We wanted that. Yeah, we we loved, but we wanted the most hated, bro. Oh yes, that's most re- infamous. That's well, respected. Let me that the no jumper let me the is respected. Let me answer this question. Let me answer this question. Look, man, I love the show. I've been watching it since it started. I can't tell you every little single episode. You don't got to, but, but you couldn't tell us one. You can't tell. Come on, one. man. Can I? Say what, what you I'm mean? Like that's a cop out. Like <laughs> you know who else one. phone is? Do what? You know who else phone is? House phone. House phone. Gina Views. You know 80, any of these people, you know, AD? Y'all, y'all are understanding. Do, do you know, know who AD you're, not, you're not even giving me a chance like, to. And just respectfully, yes you know what I'm no. saying? Like, you gotta yes know some no. shit, bro. Yes I no. said no, but I'm you saying. You know AD? You know T Real? It's like a gang, bro. You know <laughs> Duno? <laughs> I do. You know Suspect? Hmm? Donnie. You, you know, know Flacco is? Flacco? Yes. Even Dejan motherfucking Paul. <laughs> yeah, the spicy bus. Man, uh, Prim, Icon. You know these people. You know. Hell, do you know an editor? So, do you know what 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 awards Adam won recently? Out the pod game. Favorite podcast. Favorite adult podcast. Yeah, you you're hip. He's not. I mean, like I said before, go put the fuck no jumper next to it. Whack it out. Whack that out, bro. Ain't, Just put fuck here. no jumper. No, don't even do that. Oh uh, no, don't do that. Fuck it. Go against the grain. At this point, it might work better in his favor. It say fuck no jumper, but no. Nah. Don't put that on him. But I just say he shouldn't have it on the side of his head because you don't know where it come from. You don't know. No, job, per. You don't know the meaning of none of this shit. Like, just the history. You got to know some history, my brother. You're just a fan. Be a fan. You got to stay in a fan's place, church. But if you're coming to get interviewed and you're really about your music, your your coin, you know, um, some of the questions that we asked you earlier about that, you know, just your background. We did your research upbringing. on you. you did, yeah, you did I did a bunch of research on, on you. Like, I'm like, damn, okay. I'm like, I actually you. got some questions for you, man. You know, I've had questions for you. You know, and I even when I asked you, I was like, is it complicated or stressful trying to juggle your rap career and your digital coin? You kind of went left field on me. You never really could properly answer it. So, I mean, I don't know if you ever had any media training or nothing. Like, you know, your people ever sat down with you and, like, kind of taught you how to answer certain questions or be able to be, um, you know, on point about them. Like, I mean, shit, church. Like, what are we really doing? Like, what is this? Like, come on, man. Like, we, I'm, we're here for you. We ask you at what point in your life did you come across the culture? You get to laughing. Then we ain't supposed to call you a culture vulture. Like, nigga, what the fuck? Winslow, you're well, throwing us in a trick bag here, man. Well, we, well, what point did you come across the culture? When he started your rap career and or be, before that I did you was you in the streets willing and dealing did you sell drugs when you was a kid was you with no, the hey, kick like dope robbers did you family. just know a couple basketball players family, like, wrong with that. no I'm saying how did you come across niggas in trying to rap how did you start off your rap career I, I already did that earlier when did you come across the culture? How old were you, brother? Um, I don't know, like 22? You was like 22. 
And that's when you start willing and dealing with, with people outside of the white community. I'm asking it, like, see, you, you, you coming on platforms and you not knowing what's going on, gang. I'm, I'm asking just trying to keep up with you guys. Y'all do this every day. I'm saying, so you coming out of a <laughs> white community and you came out of, you, you, you started listening to rap at 22 or when did you start listening to rap? Like Dude, rap's the, the biggest platform in the world, bro. That's what I'm saying. Like, so yeah, it's not, it couldn't have been 22. You started rapping at 22. I'm saying, when did you have your first encounter with the culture? Like, was your school the predominantly first time with hip -hop white? culture? Yeah. Like, when did you like hit, gang, hit it with a gang of people? Like, all right, we're going to go to this rap concert. We're going to go do something that involves us participating with I mean, the culture. I've been doing, like, like I told you before, like, I had a lot of big influences. My dad, you know, he was big on Elvis Presley. He was big on a lot of the old school music, like Boston, Eagles, you know, stuff like that. So I grew up on it, and then I started doing the music. Elvis Presley and rap. Man, I am the next the Elvis Presley. What the fuck are you talking about, bro? It only We're talking make, about rap. It only makes sense to, to up until the top. We're talking about rap here. All right, let's keep talking about it. So, what, so you learned how to rap from Elvis Presley? Yeah. Hey, bro. <laughs> hey. Only reason I've sat through this shit as long is because <laughs> it's it's just been it's been interesting as it's fuck. Just, I'm like, trying to figure it out. It's just I was been trying to go. Big. I promise you, I I'm want you to win. Out. I'm trying I'm stressed to coach as you. Fuck right now, dog. I'm trying to coach you into winning the people over into your favor right now. Like we we slipped up and went down the wrong road, but it was like hey, but construction. We can, we can we was trying up. to we was trying to yeah, Paul. We could we could build this shit back up, but you not you you talking about Elvis Presley and all that shit, gang. Like, come on, bro. You say he told you how to rap, bro. Elvis. First you said fifty cent and Jay Z, now you talk about Elvis Presley. And it's funny. You don't oh, smoke I, a lot of weed, do you? I don't like weed. No, you asked for it when you first walked in. Because don't try I, to act like we, we pushed you on. I was then. nervous. We like we, we didn't have we, hey, no, man, we I, didn't I'll press you. It, right? I, you didn't pressure me. Just, we didn't peer pressure you. At I had you anxiety asked. because I know I already yes. watched y'all's videos. I, I yeah. knew oh, that. I knew y'all was gonna go hard on me. With another lie. So you knew we was gonna go hard on you. Oh, I knew it. I fucking knew it. I watched y'all's fucking videos. You think I didn't watch the shit before I came? He watched one video. What video? We one video. You home. watch one video. I said, nah, what man. video? I watched a bunch of them hoes. What video <laughs> did you watch us going hard on the, on a male or a female? You never seen us go hard on Is that on Pornhub? What did you say? Bro, try not to get your ass whooped. For real. On the dead homies. Play, nigga. For real. I'm I'm saying, so. Try not to get your ass whooped. I'm sick, so, because you starting to veer off, nigga. <laughs> oh, my mama, nigga. Stop playing with me, nigga. For real. You talking about some motherfucking porn hub. Was it on porn hub, nigga? I was just, well, I slapped the shit out your stupid ass, nigga. The fuck wrong with you, bro? Like a nigga keep telling you, stop playing with me. Stop <laughs> playing with me, nigga. I'm going to leave that bro. there. Stop like, playing with me, bro. For real, bro. I'm what sick, did I do? nigga. I don't know. Talk about real is church. it on Pornhub. I'm talking about, nigga, you seen the video of us going hard. You talking about Pornhub. <laughs> I'm just talking. Nigga. Fucking, this shit is trash, bro. Yeah. Yeah. I'm sorry. I'm my bad. bad. I was going to offend you, bro. Yeah. Come on, bro. You playing dog. too much. I'm really not, though. Nigga, that's like the nigga spitting on you or something or slapping you, nigga, saying I wasn't trying to offend you, nigga. Bro, I'm not trying to offend y'all. Come on, like, bro. Straight up. Try I, not I, to get I, your ass whooped in this motherfucking game. My bad. I'm, I'm sick, sorry, so bro. Crazy, hey, bro. No, I'm telling you, I'm not. I'm literally. Hold on. What? Nah, what? What? What you standing up for? Bro? Nah, what? he ain't trying to fight. What you standing up for, bro? Like, he ain't not like trying to like fight. Like sitting down. Like, okay. sit, he, he ain't, sit ain't trying to fight. He ain't trying to fight. Sit down. Don't stand up, though, dog. I ain't with all that shit, my nigga. All that standing up shit, though, I'm cool on all that. I don't, I don't take that you shit. You can sit down you know. then, bro. You like, standing you sit down up. And talk about it, bro. Too much for me. I'm out. Give a fuck. Like, hey, don't stand up, though, homie. Nigga. I'm 
Really fuck going on, on, bro? I told you, didn't. Why is you Sit standing down, up man. while like, we talking? Yeah, I sound like how you stood up, bro. Like I'm cool on that. What nigga a nigga, stand up a nigga supposed to let you stand up while I'm nigga cool, talking? Bro. Y'all are freaking me out. That's why I stood up. Oh, fuck yeah, all listen, that. bro. You just said is it on Pornhub, oh, bro? Shit, you keep man. playing with a nigga, cool, bro. Nigga. I don't know how to. This is my first time doing an interview. Bro. Then why the fuck? Why is your PR putting put shit on the calendar, nigga, for the first time on my platform, gang? What is you talk about? Like, listen, cuz right. on the dead homies, a motherfucker. All right, listen, all that fake. I got a song with Boosie shit and all that. Then all of a sudden, this is my first time and all that, nigga. On the hood, motherfucker shouldn't have never came on no platform. Then should have waited. It's called artist development. They got to develop a motherfucker first. Y'all got to practice this shit, gang. And develop yourself through the crown royal, my friend. You got to come for real, man. You I'm can sit down. Good. You hey, can, can If I you want to talk, sit down. Just sit down. You want to talk, sit don't down. Don't stand over us while you Don't talk. stand over us, bro. I already took that that's shit. That's disrespectful. Once. That's why he said All right, now, that's I cool. I like so how you did in. it, though, bro, because you did it early. All right, but uh, was it intentional? But you did it early. You told me he was going to lick me. Who what said I was going to lick you? told me he was going to fucking lick my face. That's why I set up. Yeah, uh, I didn't I want... I, who the fuck you. wants to get licked in her face? I was just playing with you, gang. You seen me laughing when I said it, gang. I'm not, I'm not going to... That's that's sexual harassment. We're not going to catch that type of case. You get what I'm saying? I'm fucking with you. Just how you... Like, you playing with me? I was actually playing. You could tell. But you, like, talking about Pornhub. Was that video? I was... Uh, right. I just... Like, Done with that shit. Like, yeah. you good? Like, I'm good. You, I'm like good. I said, I don't got yeah. really shit else to say, bro. I mean, you well, already think that shit's I disrespectful on the side of your head. I was trying to be disrespectful. Because you don't know you, nothing bro. about that shit that's on the side of your head, bro. You don't know nothing about it. You don't know not even a piece of it. What built it, what it's about, really nothing. You talking about some other sideball bullshit. What did Adam do before fucking. No jumper. You can't answer any of them questions, bro. What was he before No Jumper? I mean, the video that I liked the most was the one they had with Lil Peep. It looked like he was in a little store, and he was fucking in there, and he put his bag up or something. You never on heard of show. On Some Shit? That's cool. You ever heard of On Some Shit? You heard of On Some Shit, though? You know who Adam was before, oh, bro. before No Jumper? Do what? Do you know what Adam did before No and Jumper? And this coming from niggas that don't got that tattoo on the side of their head, bro. But we around here. We're really in the mix of this shit. So, like, you didn't know any of the people that we named off. You didn't know nothing about any of this shit. So, like, that's why when I see that tattoo, that shit's like, what the fuck are you doing? Yeah, I, I had a problem with that. I'm like, bro, what is this? Yeah. Right? Like, I mean, fuck? I didn't is this mean a it. joke? Or so this is this a sick joke? You no, decided no, it's to not come a joke, bro. It's not a joke. Like, I, I truly appreciate the platform. I love it. Like, what's wrong with getting a label tatted? It ain't nothing wrong with it, bro. Like, if you really fuck with it, though, you came up here. Marketing. You thought that you was going to come up here and throw a smoke screen. We was we was trying to give you the benefit of the doubt. You would have asked I mean, the question. Yeah, we would have been on to the next. I'm laughing because I'm hot, been, No, no, I'm listen. Laughing at you. Listen, we would have been on to the next. What's your favorite video? Oh, with little people. Adam was in the store. Da, 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 da. Yeah, because that's Bye. my heart to me. That's, a, that means listen, something to my heart. All right, that would have been dope if you would have said that. You couldn't even say that. Because, bro, so we could have been on to the next question and you could have stuck with your no jumper legacy and you was but you don't know shit about no jumper because you led us to ask multiple questions after that. After Nor no motherfucking jumper. legacy. You get what I'm saying? You don't All know right, nothing I about can, that. I can, okay, I respect that. So I got to tell you a hundred so, times to come back okay, to the microphone, I respect dog. That. And you, I respect you haven't done any of that. All I can say, all I can say to that, bring the mic towards. Yeah, I know. All I can say to that is, though, just understand, bro. This is my first. I've been doing music video. But this is my first podcast, bro. So understand, I'm not trying to be disrespectful or nothing, bro. I promise. Like I'm just trying to fucking like do my job, so you and that's it. So and you didn't practice with nobody else. You can't even play with no jumper. You don't even know what that shit come with. That's right, on the side of his head, dog. It, it, tell your you people. You don't even know, bro. You don't. don't. You he, green as fuck. The one nigga. sheet. He, I mean, like, I'm like green I went over Hell yeah, you green. You don't know anything about it. You just got it just to have it. You don't know. Like, you just thought it would be funny to have. It would be something like you're trying to mark a moment. I don't know. I don't know if that's like you just trying to mark the moment of you being on no jumper with it, whatever the case may be. This shit's some bullshit, though, bro. And I feel like you came up in here playing with his dog. And if anything, you disrespected the shit that's on the side of your head. No, I didn't mean you to disrespect didn't, you, didn't, you, didn't, you didn't come up to. That ain't what it was. I'm just being honest with you, I know, dog. but I want you to know, so, like telling you as man to man, that it has nothing to do with disrespect. 
I promise you. Like, so, so I'm a good dude. Forward, I'm moving. not a bad guy. Listen, like, moving forward. I know, but I'm going to tell you. Stood up, bro. No, I don't he, know he what that shit was. I stood up because he was trying to lift my ear. No, I, you stood he, up though he earlier. Stood up huh? when you was about to go out when he cool, stood bro. up, bro. I know because, I, bro, I'm just, I'm from Texas, bro. I'm here with a couple people. Like, you got to understand that, like, I have anxiety and nerves, too. Y'all ain't the only people that got issues. Like, you ain't the only people that you, got fucking hey, hey, things hey, going on. Hey, when this lights, camera, action, you get over that shit. I know I'm trying, bro. You get over that shit. Well, you need to find a way. You need to find that, bro, here in the interviews. Or you don't need to be doing interviews. And maybe you need to question your music career. Because if you plan on being in front of people and you're just going to yeah. get up there and laugh in front of people, what the fuck are you doing? That ain't what they no, can't do. Who the like fuck that. is y'all Boom. ain't the only one Boom. that got yeah, shit but I going on? Like Who that, the though. fuck is y'all? Like, what you said, Joe? What's your question? You said you guys ain't the only I, I, ones. No, that real shit, bro. I don't out. mean it like that. Who was you talking about? No, I want to. I want to tell him because I feel like no, he, you said you guys. Ain't I don't the mean only it like that, bro. That got shit going on. It's not like that, bro. You got me misunderstood, for real. So I, moving forward, what do, what what do you want to see out your career, bro? Like uh, rapping, I mean, rapping. Like, are you gonna do your homework on rap? Because like you cheating the culture right now. Like we we accept you if you if you let us teach you lessons. You need a mentor. You need a mentor, bro. You need a nigga like me that really been in the streets, a nigga like him that really played any side of the field that could walk you through this shit. We accept you, bro, if you accept <laughs> us, bro. No, I accept you if you can genuinely accept your fucking self. Because I don't think you do, bro, and I think you having, like, some type of midlife crisis or some type of situation going on, bro, where <laughs> you might need some type of help or you might need some type of mentorship. But this shit ain't it. You need a mentor, guys. This shit ain't it, church. I agree with y'all. You know what I'm saying? Like, what do you what do you want to see out your career? Like, like, like now that you didn't have this talk with us, because nobody's told you this because maybe you've been flashing money in their face and you might have the right path for them to invest in, so they don't want to tell you about your career and where you fucking up at. And you done ran into the right niggas at the right time today. You know what I'm saying? So we're telling you, like, are you willing to go dig into the culture and figure out what's going on before you continue to keep rapping and portraying like you came up with this rap shit? Like, a billion dollars market cap, baby. We're going to billions. We're going to be the richest people in the world. Pow, pow. Why could you have said that? Why have we been getting the runaround the whole motherfucking time, bro? And laughed at. I don't get this shit. Like I don't get your angle. No, I wasn't. You keep saying laughed at. I, yeah, I'm you, having yeah, fun. I, man, no, I thought y'all was having fun too. No, so, I'm sorry. You, you but, got but, awkward, bro. You yeah. got real awkward on I us. I can't help my anxiety, bro. Nah, you got real awkward on us, dog. But what I'm trying to tell you is, you still uh, haven't answered the question. We, like, like a nigga trying to still bring you back across, and you don't give a fuck. I'm saying, are you are you willing to go do your research on the culture? Yeah. If we have you back again, would you, if, if we put you through a rap trivia, because that's what we're going to do the next time that you come on this platform. I don't accept that. <laughs> I don't accept that You don't accept all. that challenge? No, I don't no, want to know. He, he should be he able to come redeem right. himself. No, really go get it right, though, bro, and then come it. back. Hey, man, go revamp yourself, come back, bro, and come back in a better light, because I feel like you didn't only rob us of our time, yourself, and the viewer, like, come on, man. Like, you, you got to bring some more substance to it, Cat Daddy. Get on your game. What the fuck are you doing? Like, ooh, you just running around playing? Like to play checkers, don't you? And a man, you know what I'm saying, in the game of chess. Stop doing that, bro. Like, what are you doing? If you uh, understand that you're on one of the biggest platforms, right, that you're on the planet, why would you play with that is my question. Why would that be something to play with? You're right. You know, you disrespecting us and you disrespecting what's on the side of your head, bro. You in no jumper building. You're not down the street at somebody else's podcast pulling this shit. None of that. Uh, well, I didn't, I'm sorry, brother. I didn't mean it as offense. I you was know? doing it because I like I like the ink. That's it. Brother is a biker word. Yeah. So, yeah. You, you done uh, with this one? I'm done with I mean, no, nah, let's get a recap. Let's just get a recap so he can overall know what's going on. 
Oh, my bad. I, I really no. didn't know it was something big like that. The what you mean fit. you didn't know it was something Listen, big like I'm that, a, I like tattoos, bro. I do, too. But it's some shit you got to know what the fuck you getting on your body. Get Okay, get, my bad. Right. I told you, though. Hey, Don't get, you think? You thought that I thought that? Like, hey, I'm not doing it. This isn't a Louis Vuitton, a Louis, get, you know what I'm saying, an LV get sign. Get top girl. ops on this side. You should get top ops to even. I'll do it, but got, at least give me a break on a damn tat. No, what I'm telling you, I'm going to give damn. you a break, but you got to do your research. You got to come back and know your trivia. Oh, you got to no. do your research. Like, you got to have a mentorship. Are you willing to have a mentor? <coughs> I'm willing, I just said I wasn't going to be in. <laughs> that's what I'm saying. You need to have a mentorship. You need to have somebody <laughs> that's going to teach you hip hop, the streets, one on one, bro. Because you still haven't really tell me where you encountered this shit to where you can rap about it. What do you rap about? So the world can know. I, 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 I rap about stuff that goes viral. Like what? Cap name rap. a couple. Uh, uh, yeah, name a couple titles of your songs. In, or, or. The one that's coming out called Adam Twenty Two. This is true. Bro, you playing too much. I'm See, done, now bro. you're playing. I'm done, bro. It's not even out yet. You on some weird so, shit, my nigga. Yeah. You on some weird shit, bro. Shoot us out of here, Johnny. Yeah. I'm hey, sorry. Man, I, I, no I, jumper. Coolest podcast in the world. Hey, Donnie, get us up out of here, man, for some shit pop off. <laughs>